The collection list element is a crucial component for any page, helping you showcase multiple collections in a visually appealing way. So how do you use it on PageFly? Welcome to PageFly Tutorials. I'm Kate, and let's dive in and discover the best practices of this element together. Firstly, we need to access the collection list element. Look for the elements function on the left sidebar of your theme editor. Once you click on elements, choose Shopify section. Within the Shopify section, you'll see the collection list element. Drag and drop your preferred element into the page editor and then start using it. Alternatively, you can use the search bar at the top of the elements panel. Now it's time to explore this element in general configuration. Here's a breakdown of the key setting. Collection source, this lets you choose which collections you want to display. You can either show all collections in your store or select specific collections you want to highlight in custom collections. Items per loading, this will appear when you choose all collections option. This controls how many collections are shown initially. Layout type, choose between a grid layout where collections are displayed in a neat row and column format or a dynamic slideshow layout items per row. This is just for grid layout, determines how many collection boxes appear in each row. Items spacing adjust the space between each collection box, allowing you to control the overall looking. Moving to styling configuration to make the collection list more prominent. You can customize the style for it in styling tab. This is where you can customize the element's appearance such as color, typography, background, for example, I want to change font style of this segment. I will scroll to typography and customize it. Note that you can usually reorder the collections in the collection list using the theme editor or customization options provided by your theme. This allows you to prioritize certain collections or organize them in a way that makes sense for your store. And this is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Thank you for watching.